Welcome back to part 6 of this tutorial series. And in this video, we're going to start transitioning away from our list controller and we're going to start creating some of the functionality that will allow us to move into the quiz. So the first thing we need to do is create the button that activates the quiz. So if we take a look at the finished application, we have this button. So that's what we're going to create. We hop into our HTML. Just below our input, we'll add a button tag. And inside there, we'll give it a strong tag and we'll write start quiz. And then onto our button, we'll give it a class of button and button warning to give it that nice yellow color. And we want it on the right hand side, so we will pull it right. Now we take a look at what we've got. We've got this quiz button, but we can click it and nothing happens. So we need to think what we want to happen when we click that button and then we can create that functionality. So when we click this, we want this entire area of this search bar plus all of these turtles to disappear, which is all of our list controller. So we want all of the markup inside our list controller to hide when we click this button and be replaced with the quiz. So when we click the button, we want to hide the list controller and show the quiz. And Angular gives us a directive, or two directives actually, that will help us achieve this. So the first one is called ng hide, and the second one, surprisingly, is called ng show. So we come up here onto our list controller div, and we can type in ng hide. And then inside the quotes, we want to give it an expression or a property that evaluates to true or false. And if it's true, it will hide that div. And if it's false, it will show the div. So we can illustrate that by just typing in true and come into our browser. And because it was true, it's now hidden our entire list controller. But of course, we don't want it to be a hard coded true, we want that to be a property. So we'll add in a property called list dot and then we'll call the property quiz active and we'll save. Then we'll come into our controller and we'll add in that property vm dot quiz active. And when the application starts, we want the list controller to show. So we'll create that default value and set it to false. So now when we come into our application, the list shows. And now if we head back into the controller and just temporarily change this value to true and come back here, it's now hidden. So we can control the showing and hiding of the list controller from within the controller itself by setting this flag to true or false. We'll set it back to false. But now we want to trigger the change on the quiz active flag when we hit this button. And as we've learned previously, we have a directive called ng click to bind onto that click event. And when the button is clicked, we'll trigger a function and we'll call it activate quiz. And then inside our controller, we'll create that function in the same way we've done before. Activate quiz equals activate quiz. So we'll give it a named function. And then down here, we'll create the activate quiz function. And then inside here, we'll simply change quiz active to true. So now when we hit this button, it's going to trigger this function. And then that function changes the quiz active from false to true, which means the ng hide will now hide this list controller. So let's check if it's working. So we'll come into here. So it's showing initially. And then we'll hit the start quiz button. And it hides. 
But of course we don't want to be left with a blank screen, we want the quiz to be shown. So that's what we're going to tackle in the next video. We're going to show the quiz and then we can create the markup for the quiz and move along. For those of you that haven't checked out my website yet, I do a full article write-up for every single video that I put out on YouTube and that will include code snippets and other little things that will help you along. The link to the write-up for the current video is on the bottom left of the screen. And if you just want to continue watching this video series, then just click the link in the center of the screen and we'll get started with the next video.